Hey y'all, welcome back. This new episode is called Man vs. Scale. It's really good, guys. Make sure to go watch it on TLC and Discovery Plus. So, Tammy's mom comes to visit her and she meets Tisa for the first time. Tammy tells Tisa that the reason that she shut down last time in last episode was because she was in so much pain and she just didn't want to admit it. Tisa says, oh, I didn't know you were in pain. You should have said something. I wouldn't have been so rough on you. But Tisa also says, pushing Tammy is like working two 12 hour shifts back to back. So Tisa apologizes for yelling at Tammy. They tell each other that they love each other and it's just so sweet. And Tammy's mom ends up loving Tisa. They really hit it off. We all love some Tisa, don't we? So Tammy's mom tells a nasty story about a nasty smell she experienced from a girl right before a doctor pulled out a $20 bill from her coochie. It's when she worked as a nurse in the pelvic center at Job Corps. I wish I got a $20 in my hot pocket every time that the Slayton sisters said coochie. So Amy and Michael have an important discussion about wanting to raise Gage healthy and not be 600 pounds so that he never experiences bullies in school. So that leads Amy to search out for a plastic surgeon to take care of her loose skin and her saggy titties. Honey, Amy, you're kind of getting ahead of yourself. Remember, you still need to lose 120 pounds. You need to get to 150. All in all, I'm happy for her. Way to go, Amy. Misty takes Tammy to the therapist. Tammy only agrees to go because it's a requirement for her weight loss surgery. Guys, she ain't never gonna get weight loss surgery, y'all. Bet. Misty's concerned about the reasons why Tammy's willing to go. She wishes the best. So Tammy starts by flipping out on the therapist because the therapist asked her to close the door. Tammy's like, you see me here, I'm in pain. I gotta sit down before I can be doing all that. Plus the wheelchair, there's no room for me to close the door. Tammy's mad, she's embarrassed because with her wheelchair and her big body, there's no room to shut the door. So Tammy says she's ready to go home after a few heated words with the therapist. But the therapist lady asked Tammy a lot of good questions. Gotta get comfortable. And Tammy shuts down she, like she always does. She just doesn't want to talk. After a while, Tammy starts to open up, but I can tell she really hates the therapist. Shit, I hate the therapist too. Something about her. So the therapist asked Tammy what she struggles with and asked her if she struggles with irritability. Tammy just starts laughing. She says, <laughs> the therapist says, Tammy, why are you laughing? She goes, because it's true. Come on, Tammy. She's so self-aware, but she doesn't want to change. Tammy agrees to come back for another session. At least we're getting somewhere. Now, Amy and Michael arrive to the plastic surgeon's office and they do a consultation. They take a picture of Amy and they do a digital kind of model of her face and they show her what she's gonna look like after the surgery and what it would look like without her double chin. Amy just looks like a sloth. She said it. Amy says, don't stop there, go further. I wanna look like a baby. So the sisters take Chris to get a facial and everyone enjoys the spa. The girls get their spa treatments and they all bond as siblings. It's just so sweet. Next episode, we get to see if they made any progress in that last month. I wanna see results, damn it! And guys, if you haven't heard yet, Tammy has entered another rehab. If you'd like to help me to expand my channel, my usernames are listed below. I'd really appreciate it. All right, that's it for today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time, bye!